Rob, can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Perfect. Well, so far I got six people with nothing better to do on a Saturday afternoon. Seven. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm a very busy, important person. So uh, I'm going to give everybody 10 minutes to ask Board of Education specific related questions at Tom's River Board of Education and the race and the candidates and what's going on. I'm sick of typing. What, what? Am I clear to everybody? Can everybody hear me? Rob, type a question. Well, you know, I can't answer that question, but I can tell you that I know it's like, um, I feel like I'm a dealer at a casino and I'm dealing everybody cards and I, I, except I'm seeing the cards that I'm dealing and I know the cards that I have here, but I can't tell anybody, not yet, but um, pretty soon, very soon. I think that the, um, all your ethics related questions in reference to Mr. Raymond will be answered in due time. And um, I do believe that, uh, I know I'll be happy, but um, again, I can't talk about details. Just uh, be ready. But they're not fake. I'll tell you that right now. That's something I can tell you. They're not fake. They're not made up. Got about 48, 50, 60 hours left. Or more. Come on, one question, that's all I got. Let's go, John Irwin, say something. But uh, yeah, this is my first Facebook Live. Uh, so I had to download some kind of software. Rob, you have to download some kind of software to run streaming apps on your computer. So you gotta do that for the Mac. It's not the Mac, it's just something you have to download. So anyway, um, Board of Education questions, Tom's River. If you have questions, just ask. I'm gonna be on for another maybe 10 minutes. Testing this baby out and um, I mean, it's just too much to type. I type, somebody has a question, and I type back. It's got, everything gets lost in translation. I can't really articulate or, or you know, give detail in what I'm typing. So any questions? Be quiet down there. It's my cat.
Really? No questions. Okay. Well, maybe, uh, maybe the uh, snap impromptu Facebook live wasn't the best thing to do, but I have to test this out. I think Monday I'm going to have a, uh, a long one. Answer any questions about the Towns River Board of Education election that I can answer. But uh, I'm telling you, Monday I'll be on for a couple hours probably. Get those last minute decisions uh, shored up. Feel brilliant. What are you doing? You got nothing better to do on a Saturday afternoon either? Jeez. So as you know, I'm not really endorsing as much as I am anti-endorsing Chris Raymond for the Board of Education for many, many reasons. Um, all in the best interest of the district, um, the best interest of the students, the staff, taxpayers. Um, but, you know, you really need to put somebody in there that's going to make a difference. And, uh, you know, I think it works well with others, quite frankly, because you have many different uh, political ideologies behind the scenes and different backgrounds and diversities and whatnot. So you need to put somebody in there that's going to put all that to the side and do the, do the right thing for the best interest of the whole, not somebody that goes in there with personal political aspirations and that's going to go in there and create havoc and chaos and get people fighting with each other for no reason, detracting from the progress that we need to do. And especially with all our state budget issues that we have going on, you know? Um, so that's why, uh, you know, I'm really supporting uh, poor people for Tom's river. And that's uh, Rob Onifrietti, who's on here, and um, Erica Sorello. And then on the other hand, you have Joe Nardini and Danielle LeBright, who I love. Um, so it's, it wasn't an easy year for me because you know, normally I endorse one person and that's it. But I mean, I think there's a lot of a lot, a lot to be uh, had this election, and, and um, we, have to, we have to put the right people in there. And uh, we really have a really strong board right now. I mean, you know, I know you wouldn't think that from what you're seeing in the papers, but. Again, the papers are there to sell and uh, put headlines in there that sell papers. But um, I will tell you that eight of the nine members of the Board of Education are solid. We get along, we, we're doing the right things and uh, we would do a lot better without a certain individual creating problems and, and breaking up the harmony. Um, but you know, enough about that. You see that on my pages, you know who it is. Um, but we have to, uh, we just have to make things better. And I think the Tuesday can really be the game changing day for the future of this district. Um, and we really have to be unified to go against the state and all the money that we're losing, uh, potentially losing for years to come. And uh, we need to work together. And when I say that, I mean that the citizens and the people in Tom's River and the Beachwood and Pine Beach, South Tom's River, we all need to work together. I mean, I think a petition that we had going around for the state had around 10,000 signatures on it. And for a town that has over 100,000 people, not really going to, you know, it's not really going to say much, 10,000. But, you know, I really, really give credit to the people who started the petition and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's growing, but it kind of kind of got uh, you know, stagnant there. We need to do something to keep that going. Um, but any questions about the uh, Tom's River Board of Education? Big election Tuesday. We got Anna Palazzo and um, Gigi Esparza in South Tom's River. All right, ask me a fake question about anything, sports, movies, pets, I don't care. I see Cecil Howard, I haven't seen you in maybe 10 years with the Small Arms Master Gunner course together out there in Pennsylvania. Jesse James lives down the street, can't sell his house. Gervasio, what's up? No offense to your fan, you know, we got, we got other issues, me and you, but. Uh, good question. Why is the sky blue? Um, hold on a second. I'm trying to give you a smart ass answer, but I can't think fast enough. Oh, New York Giants. That's, that's why. I'm sorry.
tell me that Mola Rosa didn't just join the Facebook live stream of DP Leonard. Well, give me that. No. Moro, welcome to the party, pal. Mola Rosa, Justin Pierre, long time no see, my friend. So for those just tuning in, um, so tomorrow morning I'm going to call into the uh, WOBM's Topic A with Bob Levy, uh, top Bob Levy's Topic A, now with Jeremy Grunin. Bob Levy, God rest his soul, icon. Um, so tomorrow morning I'm going to be calling into that show and talking about some things. And uh, Pierre Rosa, that's good. Um, and I encourage everybody to call in and, you know, that show is kind of getting out of control with the people, same people every weekend. So we got hundred, like I said, a hundred thousand people around here. we got the same people calling on every weekend talking about the same stupid stuff. Trump, Obama, Hillary, who cares? We're in Ocean County. We're in Tom's River. We've got local issues that we need to deal with here. And, uh, <laughs> it's like, you know, nobody's even talking about it. Um, and this is where all our, this is where your money and your taxes are. So let's, let's, uh, let's bring it back home and call into the show and talk about some things. Um, so I'll be calling in tomorrow to that show, and then I'm um, spending the rest of the uh, day with the family doing stuff, getting ready for Rick Grimes' last episode of The Walking Dead. You know, that's kind of scary. It's It's been maybe, uh, what, eight years, nine years with that show, and now we got to say goodbye to the main character. Ain't nobody got time for that. And then on uh, Monday, I'll be – I'm gonna. this is actually, for everybody who just joined, this is a test, um, test podcast for Monday because on uh, Monday I'm going to be um, on and off all day talking about what needs to happen on Tuesday and any last minute things we need to talk about here at Team Leonard headquarters. And uh, again, Mardini, LaBright, Onofrietti, Cirillo, Palazzo. Um, it's the biggest, I, it, name another place where the Board of Education is this, you know, this political, it's insane. It's about the kids, you know, but no, people have to, to, to go through all this nonsense. He probably listen, Carl. He wouldn't. He wouldn't even know how to do do this. He can't, he can't even speak in public. He's not going to go on here and talk to people. He canceled his uh, three town halls. Randy Lang, what's up, buddy? Chris, Tammy Britton in the house. Pete Lagam, are you still here? I haven't seen you in years. Jesus Christ. So Monday, all day podcasts from Team Leonard headquarters about the election on Tuesday. And I'm, I'm, how can this race between Yugen and, and uh, Menendez be that close? I mean, the way I look at it, you have a choice. Send in the Marine or vote for the guy who likes Dominican teens. It's sick. The guy is so corrupt. Yugen. Tom MacArthur, good guy. I mean, forget about politics, forget about money, forget about all the issues of the day. I know him. I've spoken to him. We've had conversations. He's just a good guy, and he's uh, he, he does a lot of good things. And, um, yeah, I understand the political part of that. But um, Andy Kim, come on, really? I work for Petraeus. I work for Petraeus twice. I worked for him at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, in the 82nd Airborne Division, and I worked for him in Afghanistan when he was the ISAF commander. So, and I had – dinner with him last summer. Andy Kim's putting things on his, his flyer, like makes it look like he's a veteran. Get the hell out of here. Randy Lang, what's up, buddy? Tell us about uh tell us tell us about something uh in the building trades. Uh what's going on? What are you doing? What's what's going on? What's chop today? What's chop up to? Chris, I need I need your help, buddy. You need to reach out. I mean, I feel, I'm I feel like I'm I'm fighting an uphill fight. The teach I love the teachers. I love them all, and uh, 
it's hard. It's I understand. I understand the game. Trust me. I understand the union game and and you know the how it works. Um, it's hard for me to defend myself every day by speaking the truth. Um, it, it actually hurts at times because I am trying to do the right thing. And uh, some people that I really cared about and um, really thought had my back, you know, when it comes down to politics, it's sad. It's sad how relationships are torn over over politics. And this is a nonpartisan board of education job. I'm paid. I'm doing this because it needs to get done. I mean, God, I wish I was here when Rotaco was here. Not, probably none of that stuff would have happened if there's more people like me around when Rotaco was here. Ridiculous. Bunch of sheep. I don't like sheep. Somebody went on there, uh, I don't want to say the name, but they went on, a teacher went on today, and, it's, you know, he's, they're saying that, I'm, you know, you're a mudslinger, you're a bully. I'm just giving facts, and I'm, not only am I telling you the facts, I am attaching the documents under my post where the facts are there for everyone to see and read. I'm talking like 25, 30 different things. What's my agenda? I'm not making any money off of this. I don't need any more friends. I'm not trying to make enemies. Come on. That's like, you, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's defeating at times, but I don't give up. Anyway, for those just tuning in, this is a test live feed for my, because uh, on Monday I'm going to be going live quite a bit, talking about the election on Tuesday and throwing any last minute stuff out there for everybody. Um, and I was talking to some, I, I think they're teachers and some other people that were, they would like to see um, the Board of Education or any probably any politician do this more often and kind of talk to people even at the lower level to kind of say why you voted on something or why you support a certain thing because uh the problem the reason i'll tell you why and this is and you can spin it however you want if you have nine board of education members and you are nine people on a council or whatever and you send them in nine different directions what's going to happen all right even though you leave with the same information the conversations go different places uh, so you say something wrong, even you know, even though you're trying to do the right thing, you say something that could be misconstrued. You run the risk of litigation for the district if you if one when you say one wrong thing. I have no executive authority. I am one of nine, and my job is not to administer the district. It's to oversee policy and fiscal and, and those kinds of things at the district level. I don't I don't have any authority. So while I can defend my position, I can't speak on behalf of the board. All right, I can talk about why I did something, but I can't go out and talk about why the board did something that's up for the board president and uh, us when we're together, we're convened twice a month for us to talk about. Um, but you don't want to, you don't want to do anything. Even when we're trying to do the right thing, you can actually screw it up. It's hard for me. You know, everybody knows I'm nuts on Facebook, but I, I try to say the right thing, but I, I take it to that line. I take it right to the line. I stand on the line, but I don't go over it. I'm like Mr. Raymond who, He's crossed the line on multiple occasions on different things. But these are minor details that are going to come out in the future. What we got here? Some people can't handle the truth of their manner. It's delivered. Thanks, Randy. I love your husband, by the way. Sorry, Tammy, I can't go to size. Central's got it. It's a whole other thing over there. Hi, honey. She wants me to move my truck. Hold on, my podcast is almost over. What's up, Weaver? So, uh, Randy, yeah, Americans are all soft. Um, anyone who says anything contradictory is perceived to be a bully. That's true. And let me give you an example I was discussing this morning in Beachwood's neighborhood discussion in Watch or whatever it's called. When I was a kid, I was told to what? Look both ways before I cross the road, right? Today, you're telling kids that they have the pedestrians have the right of way, right? But you're doing that in a generation that's totally oblivious, walking around, staring at their phone, just wandering in the streets. I don't know where that started. The way I look at it, the most casualty producing vehicle or casualty producing entity has the right of way. You stop, you look, you survey the area, you make a decision. Pedestrians have the right of way. People aren't paying attention. They're just going to wander into traffic. I mean, I see it all the time. You know, 
Beachwood doesn't have sidewalks. I mean, you know, so for going to school, that's going to be an issue for those 10 minutes. But for Halloween, people running around in masks in the dark on Halloween at night, that's not a problem. Nobody cares about that. You're worried about walking to a bus stop for three minutes. I don't know. Reality. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. And I'm seeing some people I haven't uh, pop in here that I haven't talked to in years. Jimmy Joe Bob, we went to where we go, Small Arms Master Gunner or Anoc? I can't remember. What do you mean, do not cut Heather McGovern? Do not cut any security guards from schools. Who do you think? Were there, were there was an armed security guard in, in the schools before this year? No, we just got that done. It's done. Our, kid, our kids are going to be safe. Tamika Brinson from Beachwood, thank you. Jim Hughes, my old buddy from the 82nd Airborne Division popping in, what's going on? For those just joining us, this, uh, this is just a test for uh, Monday. I'm gonna be on and off all day talking about the election on Tuesday. I'm doing a podcast or whatever you wanna call this, live Facebook Live stuff. It's much easier than typing, I'm telling you. Heather McGovern, the guards are scared losing jobs in April. Talk, talk to me. What are you talking about? What guards? What 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 guards are scared they're gonna oh you mean because of the budget cuts? Also, just while we're on the subject, I am on the uh, I am co-chair of the uh, Tom's River Regional Schools uh, Safety and Security Committee. So Yeah, well, those things are all up in the air right now. Um, obviously, we're not going to cut anything that's going to put our kids in danger. We're going to start with the stuff that we can cut, uh, which is really, we really don't have much room, but our administration is working on that now, coming up with different courses of action that we need to take. Yeah, sure. And you can message me or email me or whatever. You, if, you have, if it's an official school email, email me at official school email, which is uh, dleonard at trschools.com. But if it's like a general thing that you need to be to look into or give you clarification, you can send me a Facebook message or uh, whatever. But yeah, no, we're, we're coming up with uh, many courses of, the administrators are coming up with many courses of action uh, to take, um, depending on our, our, our aid loss that we're gonna have um, from the state. And that's why our board needs to be unified. I mean, enough already, because we really need to go out and, um, the nine of us need to be unified and go out and, and talk to the legislators and the senators in the state and, you know, Department of Education people and really, really get the fair funding that we need for our district. I mean, the kids shouldn't, the kids shouldn't suffer um, for, you know, for, look where, look where the money, look where money gets spent, you know, waste, fraud, waste and abuse all over the state, all over the world, quite frankly, of our money, America, you know, America's money. Um, oh, hold on. And now a word from our sponsor. MichelleALeonard.com. Come see Michelle uh, her, uh, for hypnosis. Um, hypnosis works. Uh, she's plugging her uh, business right here. So everybody get that www.MichelleALeonard.com. And you mentioned this live feed, you might get a discount. I don't know. Somebody stole Rob on a Frietti sign. Somebody has stolen our uh, Joe Nardini signs. I, I've seen, you know, I've seen them like thrown, thrown down. Um, it's a federal crime. You know that, right? If you steal signs, campaign signs, or you damage campaign signs, it's a federal crime. If you're just tuning into the Dan Leonard show, um, this is a test for Monday. Monday is going to be on Facebook live uh, quite a bit, trying to talk about the election on Tuesday. Um, for those that don't know, if you ever want to do a Facebook Live, you just can't pop on Facebook Live on your computer. You have to download streaming software. So something that something that Rob Bonifredi could have figured out on his own, but no, I had to tell him. Sorry, Rob. Wow, Jeremy Grunin. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this guy, but he'll be hearing from me tomorrow morning. Between 7 and 11, Topic A, Bob Levy's Topic A, WOBM 92.7, call in. 
and talk about local issues. Stop talking about Trump and Clinton and, and Obama. I mean, come on. We got a lot of stuff going on around here. We have budget issues. We have uh, tax issues. We have, we got every issue here in Ocean County. And we really need to start talking about our issues here rather than talk about stuff that's going on all over the world. You want to, you know, you want to do that, call, uh, call some, you know, national news network and get on the radio. Uh, Justin, we're working on that, but it's not, you know, why do you, I mean, we don't, nobody wants to talk about it, but the problem is Ocean County is predominant, or predominantly Republican County and the people benefiting um, are mostly from Democrat districts. Um, it's just one of the many issues that, you know, it's not, I'm not saying politics, they're playing politics with our kids or anything, but I am telling you that uh, that does play a role. And um, anybody who doesn't think it does is naive. So when they say talk to your legislators, you know, people are going to go talk to their, sen their local senators and assemblymen. They're, they're on our team already. That's not the people we need to talk about. Their job is to influence their counterparts at the state house. Sometimes what we need to do is take, take our roadshow around the state to some of the people that are in other districts and tell them how our kids are, are suffering. And, you know, it's not about, you know, we're going to take it away from this kid and give it to that kid. It's about equal fair funding for all kids. Um, you know, it's sad. It's sad that this is, we're really pinching pennies to try to, to try to give our kids the, the greatest education that we possibly can. And this is, this, I have no doubt, this is one of the greatest school districts in the of the country. Um, if, but if it was fully funded, I mean, oh my God, the possibilities are endless. I mean, we have a cat, we have academies, we have so many different art programs, arts programs, everything from music to, to art, to, you know, steam, to all these things that are going on now. And they, they, the state wants us to do mandated pilots and these pilot programs, but once the money runs out, now we have all these programs, but if they're not being funded, we're, we're going to be in a big, uh, you know, terrible situation. So we need to continue to, uh, advocate for our kids and that, that that's everybody it's not just the board of education's job or administration's job it's every parent every taxpayer every citizen's job to advocate the more money that comes in the easier the burden is on everybody spread uh, equally and that's why i have a real bad problem for people that that uh that bail on their taxes and, and things like that because these are the, these are the things that that happen where we're uh where we're you know, our kids are going to suffer it's a lot better than the, it's a lot better than the papers than the the local media or the, the the Asbury Park Press makes it sound. Not that they're not doing a good job reporting. It's just like the headlines are ridiculous sometimes. It says uh, so. Me and uh, Mr. Raymond had an issue, and you know I, we didn't talk the entire night. And um, the next day in the paper, it said ethics brawl at the Tom's River School brawl. What does that mean to you? To me, it means there's none of that. I mean, we're not crazy. We're adults, but we you know we have many disagreements, and I don't respect the man, but we're adults and. I'll leave it at that. Who else is here? Chris Dasty. What's up, buddy? For those just joining, um, this is just a test for uh, Monday's podcast live stream on Facebook. Um, I'll be talking about the elections, local, all the lo uh, local elections. Um, Tuesday is very important. It could be a game changing day for this district game-changing day for this district one decision in the voting booth um, can really decide you know can really make the difference on how we're going to move forward as a team a cohesive unit moving forward um, and and doing what we need to do we don't need any distractions i know i know it's been ugly i know it's been a terrible thing with the campaign season and all the lies that go around in the mailers um there's, there's a method to my madness i mean i'm i don't have but, you know, George Gilmore has not given me $40,000 to send out a nice cordial uh, piece of literature that, you know, that really nicely says what, you know, what's going on. So I got to do the shock thing, put a meme or a hashtag. So people are like, what's going on over here? And once they tune in, they look at it, then that's where I throw the facts. And, you know, that's, that's the way to do it. I mean, sorry, but there's nothing that I'm saying that's, that's a lie that or that's untrue. It's just, uh, you know. It's just the way that you know normal people now have to compete with big money politics, you know, pol uh, political money. The the local establishments, it's insane. Who, why would somebody spend forty to fifty thousand um, dollars, you know, collectively to get somebody elected to a nonpartisan, unpaid position? Hmm. Could it be because there's something on the back end that they're expecting? It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. 
I used to be a Republican. I'm still a Republican at heart. Uh, I lean right, but I agree with, I mean, I'm, I have a lot of Democrat things in my head too that I, that I feel a lot of liberal, socially liberal policies that I, that I advocate for. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just sad that, you know, this is, this is what it's come down to. So I wrote an op-ed. It was in, uh, I think it's in the Philadelphia Inquirer tomorrow. And it was in the Star Ledger this week that said that, you know, we have to advocate for some kind of uh, campaign finance reform at the nonpartisan local board level. You shouldn't be able to spend that much money to, to try to get this uh, professional contract. If you have, if you have 40, 50 extra thousand dollars, please give it to us or give it to a, a kid's program or, or some, you know, the PTO or something. If you have that money, why waste it on an election when you can give it to the people that really need it, the kids? Ridiculous. I ran my own election in 2016. Um, I didn't run it myself. I mean, friends and my wife and everybody helped me, but um, it was all like I, I brought the money into my campaign myself. I didn't I didn't just sit back, let somebody run my campaign, send out ad mailers and ads and uh, send me you know, all kinds of crazy money. That didn't happen. I own what I do, right or wrong. Dave Galini just joined. Dave Galini used to be a very, very big Team Leonard supporter, and then he bailed on New Jersey and went to Florida. Hey, Galini, I watch, I watch uh, that show Live PD all the time. It seems like they're always in Florida. What's going on down there? Chasing somebody around. All right, I'm gonna do this for another, I think, eight minutes, and then, um, then you're on your own, everybody. I can't, I can't always be here for you. So, again, this is just a test for on Monday because Monday is gonna be a big live Facebook Live day for Team Leonard. We're gonna be talking about the uh, the races, the elections, uh, what's going on, and uh, I just want to make sure that everything's working on my computer. Um, I wish you could see the nice the trees and the leaves. Can you see that? Because they're, they're probably going to be gone by Monday, the way this wind's going. Justin, the, uh, so the, the Republicans, obviously, you know, again, I, I'm friends and I love a lot of Republicans in this town. Um, but there's a point where you look at who's in charge and you say, something is not right here. <laughs> so how, how is this guy in charge still? What, why are these people around for 30, 40, 50 years still in charge? Nothing ever changes. It's a little click. But uh, what they do is they, and the Democrats to some degree too, but something about the Republicans, they, they, they get the money collectively and they support their candidates that they want to run for these positions. But that's fine. Once you get into the position and you get elected, you should be able to work well with others and, and put all that to the, to the side. But that's not how it works with these people. They, they threaten you, they, they, they threaten to cut you off uh, financially if, uh, in other ways if you don't go the way they want you to go on certain things. And I've had conversations with people that I'm on the board with now that said so-and-so said this if I do this. And I'm like, so it's kind of fr it's frustrating and defeating, but you know, that's why I, I left the party and I went independent last year because nobody's gonna control me. Nobody's gonna tell me what to do. Um, nobody's gonna tell me I can't run because so-and-so is gonna run, get the hell out of here. What do you, you believe that forty thousand dollars for you know, for paper to send paper to people's houses that that have lies? It's not even real. It's lies. They're spending forty thousand dollars to print out lies and send it to people in the hopes that somebody is stupid enough to believe it. All right, nobody curse. My daughter's on here now. What do you mean you're almost here? I didn't invite you. All right, so we got about five minutes left. I'm gonna plug again, Nardini Labright, Ana Frietti Cirillo, Anna Palazzo um, for the Towns River Board of Education on Tuesday. Again, this is a test on Monday. I'm gonna have a huge, huge Facebook Live day and bring out all kinds of new information. Um, a couple surprises, um, but uh, this is a test and my computer's working and you have to have streaming software to do Facebook Live on your computer. It works on your phone, but you need streaming software. 
Uh, what else going on here? All right, so we got about four and a half minutes left. Any Board of Education questions right now? Rob, ask another question. You already know the answer. Hold on, commercial time. Michelle A. Leonard Hypnosis. Check it out. Mention this live feed, receive a 3% discount. What's up, Fran? My high school buddy. Carol, your uh, your nephew used to be my treasurer for my campaign, and then uh, because he works for Merrill Lynch, there's some kind of financial clause with this uh, with these financial people, so he he couldn't do that anymore. But he was a great uh, he was a great treasurer for the three years I had him. Well, nobody has any questions, so I imagine that this is really going to, uh, this can't, you know, this Board of Education thing is very easy. Everybody already knows everything. All right, so I'll wrap it up again uh, Monday, all day. I'll uh, post times uh, before then. Um, I'll be on there talking about what's going on with the uh, local elections and the Board of Education, um, throwing out some new documents, some new information. And um, I'll be on Facebook Live a lot on Monday. Um, so I just want to make sure that this stuff worked today. Um, I was going to have an event. Um, at the Stonefire Grill um, on election night. Um, still debating whether that's still gonna go or not. Um, I'll let you know. So all politics is local. Concentrate on these local elections on Tuesday. Don't worry about the national stuff. Say hi, Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi, this is Chloe, and, and uh, it's a proud member of Team Leonard. And um, I know, I know. Yeah, don't. Yeah, no, I know. Don't vote for Raymond. That, that's yeah, I know. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, um, so I'll be getting off here in a minute. And thank you for tuning in and helping me work out the kinks with this stuff. Facebook Live will be on all day Monday, and if you have any questions in the meantime, just send me a message, and uh, I'll try to get the answer back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night at Walking Dead, Rick Grimes' final episode, which is depressing for a lot of the fans. All right, so thanks for joining. Thanks for coming on the, the Facebook Live today and testing it works. Any questions? Message me. Thanks, everybody, and I will talk to you again very soon. Later.